these actor exits split some great couples. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV couples that ended shockingly when actors wanted out. It's like all I ever get to be is the guy who let her down again. You think that's how she sees you? How else could she see me? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the unexpected departures and deaths of characters that broke up couples due to one or both of the actors involved leaving the show. Naturally, there will be spoilers ahead. You remember Diane? Well, she's back. Anyway, I, I told her that I, I was married because I knew she'd never show up, but she's here with her husband, so please, you gotta be my wife just for lunch. No, I don't know. Number 10, Alex Danvers and Maggie Sawyer, Supergirl. I don't know, I mean, I, mean, I, I tried. You know, I got, I got asked out. I just. I never liked being intimate. The relationship between Supergirl's sister Alex Danvers and Detective Maggie Sawyer won audiences over not only because it was a sweet one that helped Alex realize she was gay, but also for being a healthy relationship between two capable and intelligent women. I mean, like, you're in my apartment and it's, it's morning and you slept in my apartment and now you're wearing my t-shirt and making coffee and I can't believe this is happening and everything coming out of my mouth is very cliche. Sadly, Maggie's actress Floriana Lima was only signed onto the show for a year, leading the couple to break up after getting engaged because they had different visions for their future, with Alex wanting children while Maggie did not. Sandverse lives on in our hearts though. I never would have gone. I never would have gotten here without you. Number nine, Charlie Pace and Claire Littleton, Lost. It's the best bloody peanut butter I've ever tasted. <sighs> you want some? The ship never quite got out to sea. Charlie Pace is a washed up rock star and former drug addict, while Claire is a young single mother. Their adorable chemistry sadly never blooms into a complete relationship though, as Charlie sacrifices himself while trying to help her and the rest of the plane crash survivors off the island. See you soon. Be careful, Charlie. Huh? Although Charlie's sacrifice was quite moving, it wasn't entirely unexpected since it had been foreshadowed all season, and his actor, Dominic Monaghan, had expressed several times that he was ready to move on from the character. At least they were given a second chance together in the end. <laughs> Number 8. Willa Rosenberg and Daniel Oz Osborne, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Willow's a witch while Oz is a werewolf. Although the combo alone may have seemed destined to fail, they were still rather good together for the most part. However, the couple abruptly parted ways after Oz sleeps with another werewolf while transformed, leading him to depart town and the show to better control himself in his transformed state. Don't you love me? My whole life. I've never loved anything else. The duo briefly reunites, but Willow has already begun to move on with someone else. The split and Oz's departure were the result of Oz's actor Seth Green leaving the show, both due to the writers having trouble finding things for him to do and because of Green's burgeoning movie career. I was hoping that we could talk. Later. Tonight. I guess so. Number 7. Archie and Edith Bunker Archie Bunker's place. What are you trying to tell me? That you hit a car with a can of clean bleaching? <laughs> That's right! Archie Bunker was the bad tempered and frequently bigoted patriarch of All in the Family, as well as its sequel, Archie Bunker's Place, while Edith was his sweet, if absent minded, and much more understanding wife. Their long running on screen relationship came to an end when Edith dies of a stroke off screen. The character's death was at the behest of her actress, Jean Stapleton, though, as she feared being typecast in submissive roles, given that she was a feminist herself. You know something, Archie? You're a pip. <laughs> a real pip. Number 6. Clark Griffin and Lexa, The Hundred. Maybe I'll see. Although Lincoln's shocking death brought on by his actor's death also doomed his relationship with Octavia, for our money we had to give it to Clark and Lexa. Don't we deserve better than that? Maybe we do. Both 
both leaders of their respective factions, Clark and Lexa were another example of a great lesbian couple with a tragic separation. Although the writers were criticized for killing Lexa off so soon after the two had gotten together, the root cause of Lexa's demise was that her actress, Alicia Debnam Carey, had been cast on another show in a regular role. The next commander will protect you. I don't want the next commander. I want you. Number five. Raina James and Deacon Claiborne, Nashville. So I give you this ring. Forged in the fire of our love. And I vow to be yours forever and always. Country singer Raina James and her band leader Deacon Claiborne had a rocky time on their road to love. So fans were quite dismayed when, less than a season after finally getting married, and after the show had been revitalized following its switch to a new network, Raina dies after getting into a car accident. I'm coming home. Come home, baby. <laughs> For Nashville to lose one of its longtime leads and to see Raina and Deacon split apart proved rather surprising, even if it was rumored beforehand. While actress Connie Britton has remained vague about her reasons for leaving, the show and Deacon were definitely not the same without her. I love you, Deacon. Number four, Donna Pinciotti and Eric Foreman. That 70s show. I can't, I can't believe you came here for me. The quintessential boy and girl next door couple, Eric Foreman and Donna Pinciotti, seemed destined to go the distance, despite several sizable setbacks. This is weird. I mean, me leaving. However, despite being the arguable protagonist of the series, Eric left the show at the end of season seven to teach in Africa, later breaking up with Donna over the phone. So he decided for the both of us, that we should move on. So, you know, I guess we're moving on. Topher Grace, who played Eric, was beginning a movie career and wanted to move on from the show. Although thankfully he did show back up for the finale, giving hope that these two could still get back together. Donna, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number three, Matthew and Lady Mary Crawley, Downton Abbey. Actor Dan Stevens, who played Matthew Crawley, chose not to renew his contract for another three years, and he wanted to move on to other projects. Which is just what I was afraid of. Calm down, everything's fine. Matthew and Mary were a back and forth couple, whose romance the audience always rooted for, so it came as a punch to the gut when Matthew died in a car accident on the way home from the hospital after meeting his infant son. And in the Christmas special too, the show had another shocking death and actor exit that same season, when Sybil died during childbirth, leaving Tom Branson a widower. Yet it was Matthew's exit that forever changed the series. Number two, Sam Malone and Diane Chambers. Cheers. A classic odd couple and the forerunner of most modern TV will-they-won't-they they romances, Sam and Diane captivated Cheers fans for five years with their combative chemistry. You disgust me. I hate you. Are you as turned on as I am? More. <laughs> Yet just when it seemed like these two fractious lovers were about to settle down and get married, Diane leaves Sam to pursue her writing career. Hey, have a good life. Her departure was due to Shelley Long wanting to leave, in part because she didn't want the role to become stale, but also to spend more time with her daughter. Although Diane did return for the series finale, things didn't quite end up happily ever after for her and Sam. Diane, what are you doing here? <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Jesse's breaking up with me with a cube. Seems like a really convenient way to break somebody's heart. I, ju I just want to know if if it was actually you with me. D did you want it to, to be someone else? No. No. So I got canned from Benihana a few weeks ago, and Anna took off with the prep chef. I lost my mojo. Couldn't flip the shrimp. Number one, Derek Shepard and Meredith Grey, Grey's Anatomy. Derek McDreamy Shepard and Meredith Grey, or Meredith as they're known together, were the undisputed it couple of Grey's Anatomy for many years, following a lengthy will they won't they dance. I'm not gonna get down on one knee. I'm not gonna ask a question. I love you, Meredith Grey. 
and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So it came as quite a surprise when Derek's actor Patrick Dempsey decided to leave the show after 11 seasons. <sighs> Granted, most viewers can respect that Dempsey wanted to spend more time with his family, but even so, seeing Derek die in a car crash and Meredith grieve while pregnant was hard for many Grey's Anatomy fans to endure. Derek is dead. I know. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.